either one of these, but these two companies will certainly be part of it. Um, at this point, having made that bold statement, I'd like to know if anybody's got any questions. Linus. 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 Okay. Uh, Linus, yeah, right. Okay. Uh, Linus has no heavy wearers. I'm talking about heavy wearers, ladies and gentlemen. I don't care how much, uh, you know, they've got more power lines. They've just raised the $450 million and they'll be producing lanthanum and neodymium and 50% of their ore body is cerium. And an officer of one of the uh, the river company said to me this morning, can you speculate for me what would happen if China eliminated the export tax on Syria? I said, yes, yeah, Syria would be worth nothing. He said, okay, now, now do a calculation, please, on the value of the Linus deposit. I said, gee, that's pretty grim. He said, yes, isn't it? Now, I have nothing against Linus. More power to them. I hope they produce the deep demand. Um, I am not an investor. I'm, 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 I'm a metals analyst. Uh, I'm, I'm not uh, particularly interested in lands. I uh, also think therefore, the other Australian is, is a long way from producing anything. And Molly Corp, which if any of you want to take a ride, it's 500 miles uh, south uh, east of here in California. It's largest square deposit in the United States. It could well be, it may be the largest in the world, there's no way of knowing. They, they stopped mapping it at 30 million tons at 9.5%. Think about how much square earth that is. But they haven't mined the ground since 2002. They're running a refinery and they're producing 2,500 tons, about 2% of the world's total, of rare earths in, in right now in California, where you are. They use the concentrates they last processed in the year 2002. They have about 20,000 tons left of concentrates at 70%. That's 15,000 ton. At the current rate of production, they've got six years left. They're not producing. They're not producing for that reason. They're trying to restart the refinery process that they had which allowed them to recover the, the, the rare earth metals through samarium and gadolinium. So far, they've, they've been able to produce lanthanum, cerium, neodymium, and praseodymium. And they have another year to go. They told me I was just there before they get gadolinium and samarium, and that's where it quits. But the president of Mali Corp said last week in Hong Kong that he, he admits he's having a problem with California regulators who do not want to permit his refinery. It's not the mining now, now it's the refinery. And so even if they get going at Molly Corp, which we all better hope they do, it won't, it won't help us with heavy words. Now, I, I can only have a few minutes here. Heavy words are critical to most modern uh, motive technologies. Magnets, permanent magnets of the rare earth type are the smallest, most powerful magnets in the world. They're used in everything you can imagine. Cars, uh, tiny motors that, that turn uh, knobs in, in, in uh, audio equipment, all over the place. And in order to work at high temperatures, like in a car running at high temperature or a jet aircraft that needs to move an aileron, you know, maybe it looks cold out there to you, but in the working parts it's getting pretty hot. And magnets, the permanent magnets have the unfortunate property that when they get too hot, they stop being magnets. That, that could be a real problem when you're trying to move an aircraft to the surface at, at 600 miles an hour. So you, you process, you make a special kind of alloy with these heavy rare earths, and that allows the magnet to operate at very high temperature. That's why it's important, and it's critically important to, to almost anything involving a generator or motor. These metals are very important. That's why I'm emphasizing them. There are no such metals at Mountain Pass. It, I'm going to speculate that sometime between 2012 and 2015, a Canadian company will acquire Mollico and form the largest uh, rare earth company in the world. Any questions?
Because Molecor had a new extraction process using solid adult. Molecor, you can make Molecor. It was has been producing rare earths so until 2002, from like 19, is the late 50s. Okay, and the thing is, there's been a lot of advances in what's called metallurgy. These guys are called what I call chemical engineering; they call metallurgy. There've been a lot of advances since then. They stopped all work in 2002, all mining, all refining. They started the refinery up again in 2007. They have one employee left who was there. It, Chevron owned until 2007 in September. The, the deal closed two months ago. The new people have some sort of a new process of extraction using some solid that apparently is much more efficient. Are you aware of this? Or a solid method of extracting the rare using a special solid. That's, that's how it works. Uh, they have a huge uh, solid extraction plant there. Uh, I, I walked it, they were very open, we talked about what they use for what solvents they use. But what you need to know is that if you load that plant on the front end today, the higher atomic number of rivers won't come off for 18 months. That's a very, very long process. And nobody there <coughs> has run the process to that level, except one gentleman, the, the chief engineer. They are, they are trying to restart it. It is not something you, you do with a, with a switch. It, it, it's a process, and they have not been successful yet beyond neodymium. Now, I'm, I'm not knocking them. To, that's the only rare earth separation processing plant that I'm aware of in the Western world. So they're the only ones that got such a plant, and I hope they actually get it back into full operation. But the, the problem is California is saying, not me, that you have a new process requires a new permit. That's, I think that's what's stopping well, What did the market for Sorry. What the total market in dollars for heavy uh, What is total market in dollars? <laughs> Can somebody translate? He wants to know what's the total market in dollars. Uh, last year, about a billion. Four. It's trivial. Billion. It's the the market isn't important. The, I mean, it, at the mine face, the products in which these uh, uh, chemicals go, these elements go, represent hundreds of billions of dollars of product. That's the key, and we will not be able to make them without that billion form. The actual amount of earth in any particular product is sort of trivial. And it's price is not the issue. Rare element resources, RPS. Company. So, rare element resources. <laughs> What's the most important one? He's asking for your opinion. An email of this company, the company that traded the ticker RBS. Can somebody tell me what that was? A rare element. No, a guy's got He's asking about RES as a, the company RES. Rare elements. Rare element. Rare element resources. That's the name of the company. Rare earth elements? You mean rare earth you mean rare rare element resources? Yes. Yeah, but they're not they're not they're not anywhere near where in production. What what I'm talking about is production of material, not not what you've got in the ground, not an exploration situation. Actual production. That takes years and Avalon and the Great Western are there. That's why they're, they're the most important rare earth companies in the world right now. So that's it. I'm sorry. Thank you. I'm not, I'm not.